This is an updated look at our Dev Studio Scene Toolset 1. We've made a couple of improvements to the tools and how they operate. Let's go through the updated tools. The installation of the toolbar is fairly simple. Once you have the products installed from the store, you can simply in Dev Studio go to the Scripts folder under that 3D Universe and right at the top you'll see an icon for Scene Tools Toolbar Create. If you're updating the previous toolbar, we suggest that you run the Remove script first. That's just going to remove everything and make sure that you have the updated content. Let's run the Create now. And you'll see up at the top there, the toolbar has been created. You'll notice that we've now updated a couple of the tools to be toggles. These include the hair, clothing, shoes, and we've also added one for accessories. When selected, these toggles will show items that are being hidden. For example, if I click on the hair, you'll see the hair has disappeared from our scene and the icon has been changed with a semi-transparent hair as well as a little red dot to show that that is currently selected. This works the same for the clothing and the accessories. With the clothing icon, shoes are considered clothing. So if you click to hide the clothing, it will also hide the shoes. The shoes can be brought back or hidden separately though. The hide all non-figures tool will go through your scene and basically hide everything that isn't designated as an actor. So for example, in this scene, my pug and the Genesis uh, 8 female are both actors. And by clicking on the hide all non-figures, everything is hidden except those two. You will notice that the four toggles up the top here have also changed because effectively the, the hair, clothing, shoes and accessories have also been hidden in the scene. So these icons are updated to reflect that state. Also, if you have a whole lot of the items in the scene hidden and you select the button to bring everything back, all the icons are updated to show their correct status. You'll see in the scene that I've got here, I've got the Genesis figure with a whole lot of clothing and accessories and I actually have her grouped just to show how the, the updated script now works with grouping. So if I select the group and say, I only want to have this group visible, everything in that group is now visible. If I select the option to only hide this group, everything else is visible in the scene and the, the group and all of its children are hidden. We've also now created a tree hide and a tree show icon. And the way the tree hide and tree show icon works is if you look in my scene, I have each of these cubes are uh, parented to each other with my tune pug on top. So if I was to select cube two, for example, and say hide everything, it's going to hide everything, including cube two. I bring it back and let's just hide everything except the figures. If I now select my cube two again and say, I want that back, you'll see cube two, three, four, and the pug have now been brought back into the scene. The new tree show and tree hide tools can also be used uh, to show parts of a figure. So for example, if I was to, to hide the, everything but the figures and select Genesis 8's neck and hide everything from there, you'll see everything further down, all the children of the neck that I selected are hidden. Bring that back. This will also work if I have the entire figure hidden. And for example, I was to select the, the abdomen here in my scene view and bring that back. That's going to bring back everything that is a child. You'll see in this case, it's actually brought back the glasses because the glasses are smart prop to the head. The way the resolution level uh, works is pretty much the same, except it's also become a toggle. So at the moment, everything else is on high resolution. I can show you by going here. You can see my figure at the moment is high resolution. If I click on the toggle, 
everything is now low resolution. You can see, especially on the pug, that he's now low resolution. You'll see the icon has also changed to show a, a low resolution block instead of a high resolution. If we click that again, it goes back to its original state.